Near Jubilee Creek, we met Dalian Matia, Artia Kafia award-winning authoress for both Circles in a Forest, the Standard 9 set workbook, and Phila's Child, her second book. She shared with us her own awakening to the living forest. In order to write Circles in a Forest and Phila's Child, I had to come and live within the forest. And when you get involved in a forest, it's like entering a kind of school. You can neither write nor read. You think you can, but that's your mistake. And at first, you go through a backward process. Because the forest to you is something primitive. And you stoop down and try and get as primitive as possible yourself. You drink the water of the forest, you sleep in the forest, you work, you, you walk for days on end through the forest, you eat the fruits of the forest. You learn many emotions within yourself during that first period. A kind of, an, you, you, you get a kind of animal joy out of it. You're scared of the forest. You become aware of the aloofness of the forest, of its secretiveness. And all the time, you sense a distance between you and the trees. There's a sense of separateness between you and every noble tree in the forest, and you cannot understand it. Not at that point. It's only when this backward process stops and the forward movement of thought starts happening in you that you start walking the forest paths with a new interest. It takes you a while to realize that it's not just a primitive greenery around you, but a perfect ecological system. Out of the seeming chaos comes the harmonious balance of temperature, of humidity, and of light. It's always just right. Your emotion is replaced by respect. You find yourself within a vast entity in which every tree, every leaf, and insect, and bird, and buck has its role to play. You learn of the discipline and order within the system. This forward process brings you to many new discoveries. The water that seeps on the forest floor is living water. Water that has completed the cycle from cloud to rain to earth and forest roots, from where it brings up salt nutrients and trace elements to fertilize the soil and to energize man's body when he drinks it. The forest gives you back this living water by means of its streams and its fountains round the edges. This forward movement, this scientific approach to the forest does not take away from the wonder and the magic of the forest. It adds to it. It adds to it continually because man has not stopped discovering ever wider aspects of this vital entity. It is the scientist that shows you the forest as a vital source of energy the scientist shows you the destruction within the forest, and then you experience a new kind of fear and also anger. You walk this forest with this new fear and with this anger, and then suddenly you realize that anger and fear is not part of the forest. It's only a destructive force within man. And then you realize that the only thing you can do is to join the relatively small band of people all over the world that looks after the last of the forests of this planet. That is all you can do. Your task is to take as many of the destroyers by the hand and lead them forward towards nature. <laughs>